the 2004 United States presidential election in Alabama took place on November 2, 2004. Voters chose nine representatives, or electors to the Electoral College, who voted for president and vice president. Alabama was won by incumbent President George W. Bush by a 25.6% margin of victory. Prior to the election, all 12 news organizations considered this was a state Bush would win, or otherwise considered as a safe red state. On election day, it trended Republican sharply, by a swing margin of 10.7% from the 2000 election. Bush won with over 60% of the vote, a first since 1984, and carried most of the counties and congressional districts. Historically, Alabama is a very reliable Republican state that a Democratic presidential nominee hasn't won since 1976, when the governor of the state next door, Jimmy Carter of Georgia ran and swept the Deep South. Primaries. <inaudible> 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 Alabama Democratic Primary, 2004 Campaign Predictions There were 12 news organizations who made state-by-state -state predictions of the election. Here are their last predictions before Election Day. D.C. Political Report, Solid Republican Associated Press, Solid Bush CNN, Bush Cook Political Report, Solid Republican Newsweek, Solid Bush New York Times, Solid Bush Rasmussen Reports, Bush Research 2000, Solid Bush Washington Post, Bush Washington Times, Solid Bush Zogby International, Bush Washington Dispatch, Bush Topic. Polling Bush won every single pre-election poll, and won each by a double-digit margin of victory. The final three poll averaged Bush leading 58% to 38%. Topic: Fundraising. Bush raised $3,092,923. Kerry raised $514,589. Topic. Advertising and visits Neither campaign advertised or visited this state during the fall campaign. Topic. Analysis Bush easily won every poll taken in the state prior to the election. Kerry won a small section of counties in the middle of the state, including winning Alabama's 7th Congressional District. In 2000, the state voted for Bush 56% to 41% by 15 points, this year it voted for him by 25 points, with the exception of Oklahoma in 2004, the state was also Bush's best performance in the South, with not even Texas, Bush's home state, voting as red as Alabama. CNN exit polls showed that almost 70% of male voters voted for Bush. Also, 99% of registered Republicans, which made up 48% of the population, voted for Bush. Also, 43% of the state described themselves as evangelical Christians, and 88% of them voted for Bush, 62% of the state approved of Bush, and 60% approved of the decision to go to war in Iraq, 82% of white men and 79% of white women voted for Bush. Finally, 70% of voters over the age of 60 voted for Bush. 
Alabama was racially divided. Alabama whites voted 80% to 19% for Bush, while blacks voted 91% to 9% for Kerry. As of the 2016 presidential election, Bush is the last Republican to carry Jefferson, home of Birmingham, the state's largest city, and majority black Marengo counties in a presidential election. Topic: Results. Topic. Results breakdown Topic. By county Bush won a majority of the counties. Topic. By congressional district Republican George W. Bush won every congressional district, except the seventh one, which is a Democratic stronghold. Topic: <inaudible> Electors. <inaudible> Technically, the voters of Alabama cast their ballots for electors, representatives to the Electoral College. Alabama is allocated nine electors because it has seven congressional districts and two senators. All candidates who appear on the ballot or qualify to receive write-in votes must submit a list of nine electors, who pledge to vote for their candidate and his or her running mate. Whoever wins the majority of votes in the state is awarded all nine electoral votes. Their chosen electors then vote for president and vice president. Although electors are pledged to their candidate and running mate, they are not obligated to vote for them. An elector who votes for someone other than his or her candidate is known as a faithless elector. The electors of each state and the District of Columbia met on December 13, 2004, to cast their votes for president and vice president. The Electoral College itself never meets as one body. Instead the electors from each state and the District of Columbia met in their respective capitals. The following were the members of the Electoral College from the state. All were pledged to and voted for George W. Bush and Dick Cheney. Beth Chapman Marty Connors Martha Hosey Will Sellers Mike Hubbard Floyd Lawson Albert Peters Betty Fine Collins Martha Stokes <laughs>